Yo, can I get your attention for a moment? I have a little bit of an announcement to make at the beginning of this wonderful episode of Zwerd. No, 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 come back, Island, come back. This swift sail is a little bit too swift sometimes for me. Okay, so I have an announcement for you guys. After a couple weeks of trials and tribulations, setting up one of the most difficult randomizers I've ever set up. I don't know why it was so difficult to set this randomizer up. It was... It was a journey, to say the least. It's more of a balloon, but yeah, I finally got Twilight Princess Randomizer working on my computer. Oh, it was a really confusing experience because it uses the dolphin emulator and there was just like a lot of different portions to setting it up. And I'm just not very familiar with that randomizer in the first place. Oh, this is, hmm, don't we need fire arrows to do this? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at all this magic. Oh my god, thank you, Pitch Perfect Soundtrack. You made that so much better. Okay, um, yeah. Ooh! Last episode, we got the extended magic meter, so we could go to the infamous flight platform, which I am always really bad at, and it always takes me like 10 tries, and I hope I have better luck today. But yeah, we're gonna go to the flight platform and check it out. Okay, comment section, we gotta have a debate on this, because I am very, very torn on my opinion on this. But every single quadrant in the whole entire game has an official island that is a landmass that sticks out of the sea. But the flight platform, it's a man-made structure. It's the only quadrant in the game that doesn't have an actual landmass sticking out of it. Does it count? If we let this land as an island, then like, what are they going to do next time? Make the whole entire game in the sky and not even have an ocean in the first place? That'd be unacceptable. No, we cannot let this happen. It would progress into a travesty. Uh, oh, a challenger. We need to make the wind go to the northwest. Isn't that the name of Kanye West's daughter? I think so. <laughs> Kanye really just went out here and named his daughter Northwest, didn't he? What a freaking legend. Okay, maybe we'll make it further because now we have a balloon. Whoa. <laughs> that music scared the heck out of me. I'm gonna like base boost that just to be a bitch. All right, we gotta hit this little cyclone. No, oh, we're fucked. Okay. Oh no, we might hit this one. Oh no, we screwed it up. See, it's gonna take me 10 tries. I'm calling it now. Oh yeah. Hearing the air horn, it reminds me. I also have some like sound effect buttons on my keyboard now. Oh shit! That's one of them. Oh shit! What else do I have? Thank you! Oh yeah, I have this. Thank, 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 thank you! <laughs> oh shit, I just live in a save state. I fucked up. Okay, fortunately we were at the beginning of the episode and I hadn't done absolutely anything yet, so... Honestly, no losses. Um... I don't know if we ever came back to this hole and did whatever was inside here. I think this is like one of the very first things we came into when I started the Let's Play. But I wasn't able to do it because I had literally nothing. But let's come back here and do this real fast and then we'll go do the flight platform. I'm not ready for that. I have to like build myself up for that <laughs> during the episode a little bit for sure. Okay, what we got in here? Oh yeah, this is the dungeon that literally makes no sense with this layout. Yeah, how's it been going for you guys? How's your isolation been? I've been pretty chill. I haven't been like completely isolated because I've been doing that grocery delivery service. It's called Shipped, and I've been going to grocery stores and doing grocery shopping for people, but I'm doing it for like people like that are like higher risk that can't go out and do their own shopping. I gotta keep those older people safe though. It's okay, I use lots of hand sanitizer and have a mask, but it makes pretty good money, at least where I live. I don't think it would be great everywhere but in the Los Angeles area you can make some pretty good money doing grocery delivery services right now I'm making like an average of like $40 per delivery but the thing is it is a bit time consuming because you do do the grocery shopping for people the thing is I'm not like even though I love let's playing it's hard for me to sit on my computer every single day and play video games all day and edit it all the time and everything 
<laughs> so I have to like have jobs where I go out and like be a little bit more active. And sometimes it's nice to just go out and like do some grocery shopping for money. So like walk around a store, buy some stuff. It's kind of fun. It's like a video game. I have like an app and it just has like a list of all the stuff that I need to buy. And I'm trying to buy, I need to find it like as fast as possible because like time is money. In this situation, the faster I find it, like the probably the higher tip I'll get. And also just the more time I save because I don't, you don't get paid hourly. You get paid like based on the order. So like it's in your best interest to like find everything faster. It's like playing a real life video game almost and then I get to like drive to wherever the house is and like the area I live in is really really beautiful and I've only lived in Los Angeles for like a year so everything is still pretty new to me so it's just like a delight to be able to just like get paid to drive around Los Angeles so I've been getting out I've seen like lots of people online that seem like they haven't left the house like whatsoever since this whole entire social isolation thing started and that kind of like blows my mind i don't know how people are doing that like i haven't been hanging out with friends really at all but fortunately i have two roommates that are let's players and i have like a couple friends come over like i have like three people in my friend group that like come over and hang out like once a week and that's pretty much it we keep it small can't like 100 percent isolate but you know most of the interactions have been online, especially Discord. The Discord server's been popping. We're working on lots of stuff over there. Trying to get a Minecraft server set up so we can start doing some like community nights where we do like community games and projects and stuff. I have lots of clever ideas that I'm really excited for. All right, let's go back to this flight platform and not load a save state randomly. All right, we're getting there, come on. And this balloon, I feel like <laughs> the surface area is definitely getting us some more wind resistance in this situation. I think we're gonna make it. Jump attack for extra distance. Is that it? Oh, we did it! Oh my god! That was like, what, second, third try? <gasps> Heck yeah! Usually that takes me so much longer. Make it with my while! Oh, that's not worth it. Whoa, <laughs> that was creepy. Just turn up to daytime when he appears behind you. That's, that's how jail works, I would assume. Also, I just like realized, I think it's really cool how the, whenever they teach you the Song of Passing, Tot, which is just a kind of cool view of Tot from right here, they teach it to you through like a dance, which helps you memorize it better, which makes me think of TikTok. I feel like if Tot existed in real life, he would be a phenomenal TikTok influencer. I would follow him. Would you guys follow Tot on TikTok? This is a really cool but interesting room. Like, how are you supposed to get in this room in the first place without going through this weird tunnel? But this tunnel is also like a one-way ticket because when you come out, you drop above the staircase. I don't know, I'm not really sure what this whole house is about. Ooh, okay, they're talking to each other. Juicy gossip. Do you think if they started making out, should we get a big mouth full of hair? <laughs> I feel like yes. Because he there's a lot of hair on his face. Did he see me? I hope not. How interesting. Okay. Thank God I got the picture before I try to sneak up and get the next one. What? I'll have you know I'm only come here to have him take a pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. Yo, girls, you want to see some of this gossip? She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a skill teacher. So anyway, you know that brick building at the top of the steps? Well, that gentleman who lives there is such class. Ooh, I know. That mysterious pictographer, Linda, was so dreamy. Oh, he makes my heart go a flutter. But do you know that the rumors could be true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? Okay, I have the answers for you, you saucy scallywags. Yep, sorry, he doesn't love you guys. He loves Smoker Lady. He has a thing for nicotine addictions. It's just his kink. Ah, oh, come on, it's like giving me these pieces of heart. We need, <laughs> we're actually like running out of things to do again, which is stressing me out. Cause I'm not that good at this game. Okay, what else can we do? Oh, right, okay. 
So now that we watched that like exchange last episode between Maggie's dad and the postman where he was like, be gone, be gone. Um, <laughs> the postman should be just like chilling in this bar, drinking his sorrows away. And he's going to ask us to deliver the letter for him. And we'll reluctantly agree, I guess. I'll do it. Yay. Wow. A freaking yellow ruby. A yellow ruby is literally just a pea. It literally is just a pea. Gross. <laughs> okay, so this is an update that I'm not positive about, but I wanted to test it out. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. I hope you didn't notice that. Hopefully he's on too much meth from all of this stuff he's cooking up that he didn't notice all of this stuff breaking in front of him. Ooh, I'm liking the buck tooth, bruh. Okay, so I think the chew jelly might be mixed into the randomizer. Use 100% natural chew jelly here. Okay. Yeah, let's buy a red potion. Okay, no, it's not randomized. Why did I think it was? I thought I saw in the change log that that had been switched up. Apparently not. Okay. This is a really cool shop, though. I feel like I never come here. I'm just not much of a potion guy. I'm more of a, more of a fairy fountain guy. You know what I mean? I'm also a soup kind of guy. Oh, Grandma's not feeling so well. Thankfully, we live in a land of magical fairies that can heal you. If this was, if these types of fairies existed in America, <laughs> you know they would be like harvesting these things and be using their magical properties in the most like corrupt capitalistic ways possible. Ooh. Good thing we don't have fairies in today's land. They would be extinct by now, probably. Our our world couldn't handle that kind of magic. Now, if the fairies could fight back, that'd be a whole nother story. The fairy, if the fairies could fight back and kick some ass, that would be awesome. You could, like, stand up against any, like, capitalistic greed. With how skinny Beetle is, I am not surprised that she's given us food. Alright, now I'm gonna go back up to the location where the Savage Labyrinth is, and see if there was anything in there that I missed, because I can't remember. I didn't mark it off in my tracker, so I'm gonna go double check. Maybe he does that. Oh, I don't have magic. Holy crap, that was close. Huh. <laughs> that almost ended really, really badly. I guess we'll go ahead and drink some of the elixir soup now. Why not? So if you've never seen this before... Oh, look at the bottle. Apparently that's the bottle shape from Spirit Tracks. Whoa! Our sword is glowing. So yeah, we have double attack damage with our sword until we take our first bit of damage, which is pretty sick. And also refilled our magic and our hearts. But our hearts were already filled, so it didn't actually refill it just now. This beetle balloon is cool. It's like the best time to look at it because it's like the longest time you soar. Except, well, except for the flight platform, which happened this episode. <laughs> Short term memory loss, I guess. I don't know. I actually just had like a meeting with my mods. I'm recording this video in like two separate sittings, but I had like a mod meeting. We're making like lots of adjustments on the Discord server. It's been kind of fun actually. I've been enjoying myself. Okay, have we done this yet? I don't think so. I don't think we were able to. Oh yeah, there was dark nuts in this room. That's right, we didn't have the sword. Alright, time to get our vengeance. Dang, but I already took damage. We already lost our double damage. That sucks. I also need to collect knight's crests, skull necklaces, and gold feathers for some other, like, side quests. I kind of wish I had enough ground on the, the droid pendants. Whoa! Okay, that kind of surprised me. Heck yeah. <laughs> so freaking satisfying. Oh my god. Swing at me, bruh. Oh. <laughs> okay, this isn't fair. Whoa. I'm so happy they have friendly fire turned on. It makes this so much more satisfying. Come on, bruh. Okay, the only thing that sucks about this is my sword is, like, really, really weak. We really need to get the master sword. Hopefully it's in here. If we want the most, I, I, honestly, if I could choose one thing to have right now, I want to get the fire and ice arrows. I care more about that than anything. Come on, we need to get this guy's clothes off. His armor. Is armor considered clothes? I don't see why not. There we go. See, aren't you much more comfortable now, bud? <laughs> Man, my dodging skills are great right now. How long does this last? How many moblins have I killed at this point? I think they a lot. The mini blins could go. Like, I could, I could definitely deal without the mini blades right now. Okay, wait, I just realized, why have I not been using my skull hammer? 
This thing does so much more damage. It's a bit more slow is the problem. I'm not sure. Maybe this isn't the move. Okay, I'm actually having to <laughs> drink my potion. Ooh, I'm looking flashy. Mayday. Wee woo. Wee woo. Man, my humor is top notch. This is all stolen from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my god, he blocked me. With his thick ass thighs. Okay. What? I don't keep messing this up. I didn't know this could mess up. I thought it was foolproof. Are you kidding? There's another Wizrobe? Why? I don't even remember there being an enemy gauntlet that lasts this long. It must be like an end game sort of enemy gauntlet because this is like some craziness. This feels equivalent to like doing the Cape of Ordeals, but in like one room. Ooh, that was good. Whoa, did he die? That Dark Knight died before his armor even came off. What, now we're just like having to fight Bacoblins now? Like, what is this? Oh, give me the nice crest, give me the nice crest. Whew. Almost made me lose that. That's like the main thing we want right now. I'm gonna collect these spoils as like a grind. Okay, really? Is that like all that's left as a Bacoblin? When does it stop? Oh my god, there's more- What? <laughs> I can't believe we're still going. I like how there was a point during this Let's Play that I tried to do this place without the sword. Man, if I would've like tried to beat that first wave of Darknets and then realized that there was this afterwards, I would've been so upset. <laughs> I'm glad I gave up when I did. Actually, I cut out a lot whenever I attempted it though. Like, I attempted to do this room for like 25 minutes. I ended up cutting it down to a couple minutes. But I can't believe I put in so much like effort trying to do it. I was just like determined to prove myself without having the sword. But some things are just, like, some things are impossible. I'm sure somebody out there could have done it. So I'm like masterful Zelda when we can play, but that ain't me. Ooh. Okay, what did we do all this for? That's the real question. I mean, if anything... Oh dang, I broke open that thing and nothing came out. If anything, getting all of these skull necklaces and knight's crests is gonna make it worth it because... Because we're gonna get quite a few prizes from collecting these. How many do we have? Oh, we're just one away for the knight's crests and four away for the skull necklaces. And then 15 away for the golden feathers. What's the best location to grind golden feathers? Like Needle Rock, maybe? Iron Boots! Oh, so worth it. So happy we did that. That doesn't really open up that much for us to do, apart from the Wind Temple. Oh my god, we can finally do the Wind Temple. Makar, our boy! We're coming, Makar! And it's also going to allow us to do the puzzle on Shark Island. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I think they've actually added a randomizer as well to the treasure chart locations under the sea. Because I believe in the base game of Wind Waker, all of the treasure chart treasures are located in the same location under the sea at each island. But I think for the randomizer, there's an option to like switch that up. It doesn't change that much, but I guess if you want like a slight variation to your game, if you've played the game a million times, you might notice something like that. It's kind of cool that they were able to do that in the first place. I appreciate any features the modders I appreciate any features the mods are able to figure out. <laughs> Opening a chest and getting a pair is honestly so satisfying. <laughs> Just seeing Beetle so happy over it. But yeah, there's lots of features that they add to the randomizer that I wouldn't necessarily use, but it does excite me just from a modding standpoint that they figured out how to do it in the first place. I think that's pretty cool. The switches get undid really quick, so I think it's best we go in this with a plan. I'm going to start off by throwing the boomerang. The second I throw it, I'm going to jump up on this. Get a run. Get a pound in this this peg. <laughs> I don't know how it goes back up. There's like somebody underground that like pushes it back up. After like 10 seconds, they just like pull out their stopwatch. I gotta go fast. Hurry. Okay, come on. Put your boots on. Yes. We got it. I don't know why that little tornado shows up. I did open up a, a hole underground, right? Is it pronounced Grotto or Grotto? I always forget. 
I thought it was pronounced Grotto, but then somebody like made fun of me and I can never remember the correct, pr correct pronunciation. Oh my god, this room, finally! There's like a lot of easy treasure chests down here. I feel like we've been looking for this one for a long time. This is normally the paw print island dungeon. Can I break this open with the skull hammer? I don't think so. We actually just have to use the bombs. Bitch, I'm the bomb. Tick, tick. Bitch, I'm the bomb. Tick, tick. Yay, another heart piece. But I've always wanted. My eyeball is in slight pain. Not bad pain, but just slight. Okay, silver rupee. We should probably get some of our Triforce shards deciphered. Although I don't think we need to, because I don't think any of the Triforce shards are actually underground. I don't think I added the Triforce charts into the randomizer, but I think like now looking back, if I was to do this again in the future, I would randomize the Triforce charts that you have to get to Cypher. Whoa, the Master Sword! That's dope. Now we can go beat Phantom Ganon. Lots of people were asking last episode um, why I didn't play tennis with the bottle against him, and I think you're able to knock his things back against him with the bottle but I don't think you're actually able to hit him and do damage with the bottle but what I was saying was I think next time I do a Wind Waker randomizer I'm gonna have the regular treasure charts non randomized but then have the eight Triforce charts randomized so there's a few Triforce charts that are like mandatory because having 49 Triforce charts mandatory not woke only having to do eight that's a little bit more woke and it makes you, it gives a reason for you to like collect the other treasure charts and like try to collect rupees and stuff. So a little bit more balanced and it kind of like lines up with the actual game. Like that's what you have to do in actual Wind Waker. <laughs> Damn, we got two heart containers down here total. Okay, okay. Ouch, that had to hurt. This room is like lagging. There's too much grass in this room. <laughs> makes my game lag. But I guess in like base Wind Waker, all you have to do is the eight Triforce charts. Those are the mandatory ones and then the other treasure charts aren't mandatory. So it makes sense that that's how you would do it for the randomizer as well. I should have done that for this one, but I just hadn't thought it through that far ahead, I guess. And I don't think it matters that much. I think it would be a little bit better if I had it that way, but it's not like, <laughs> but I don't think it'd make it that much better. All right, I think next we're gonna go down to Horseshoe Island and meet up with our boy Makar, because I think we're finally gonna be able to take on the rest of the Wind Temple. So let's get down there. All right, is this gonna be the last time we have to go all the way through Horseshoe Island? Let's go ahead and Hi. find out. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Back to bag. All right, Makar, did you miss me? We got to spend a few minutes with our boy earlier in the last play, but we couldn't go much further than this without the, the boots, but we're back and we should be able to progress much more quickly. Let's go ahead and possess this little wooden doll. His little helicopter goes <laughs> I love him, he's so cute. The car is so pure. If anybody tries to hurt him, I will hurt you tenfold. Don't even try. Beetle, ready to eat yourself over there yourself, buddy? I think he is. He's been thinking about doing this temple for a long time. Because he likes the he likes the boss music. That's what he told me. He's a big fan of the Mulgara boss theme, so that's what he that's why he wanted to come here ASAP. And we're finally here, Beetle, so we can rest easy. Okay, that wizard room down there was trying to shoot me down. And I'm not okay with it. My nose is so tickly today. Yeah, I think like whenever I commentate, my nose just gets tickled. It's like my voice just vibrates my face like the tiniest amount, where if I talk for long periods of time, my nose just gets a little bit tickled. <laughs> Let's play our problems, I guess. Whoa. You need it. You need to calm down. Give back. Sit back. Stand back. Y'all better not touch me. Hey, get this master sword. It's a much better job. Taking them out one hit instead of like four hits. Man, the windfall sword was weak. Weak. Mmm. <clears throat> Plant your trees, Macaw. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the trees are so happy to see us. Like, hey, 
What's happening? Do you want to see my Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yes, sir. I would love to see your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh my god, they're perfect for each other. I'm glad we got to provide them with lifelong friends. You guys play good now. All right, this is the this is the bitchy room, okay? Great. I love a bitchy room. No. Haha. <laughs> Yee! All right. Let's go on another tree planting rampage. Man, we need to get we need to get Makar in on this Mr. Beast tree planting movement. I feel like Makar could do a much better job at this. Like seriously. Started to planting five trees, man. And they grow so fast. Also, I'm pretty sure this pot right here, if we break it open, it takes us in between the Forsaken Fortress. LASIK, I think that the hookshot can probably latch onto the trees I planted. No way, Jose. Yeah, this should take us to the Earth Temple and the Forsaken Fortress. So once we're done with this temple, we can just use this to get the Forsaken Fortress really quick. Or we could just do the Forsaken Fortress first and then come back here. Eh, that'd be kind of cool. I love the sequence breaking of randomizers so much. I think I'm gonna do it for this very reason. We're finally coming back and fighting Phantom Ganon. Actually, no. Oh shit, I locked myself out. Okay, I was gonna say I'm actually gonna do it at the beginning of the next episode, because it'd be kind of cool to show up that urn at the beginning of an episode. But now we're, we're already stuck in this battle. All right, take it out to the tennis court. Oh, where I like, yeah, yeah. Where I like, yeah. Finally got to sing my Lord song all the way through. Prevented me from doing it last time. But yeah, so I don't think we would have been able to do damage against him like that last time without the Master Sword. We could have like knocked back his stuff with the bottle, but then we couldn't have done anything after that. And I like attacking him with the A button way more than I enjoy playing tennis. That went so fast. You suck, dude. How does it feel? How does it feel? All right, is that it? Did we get a chest for doing that? I sure hope so. Oh yeah, we get the, the skull hammer typically. This time, it's gonna be something good. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a key to a temple. That's my guess. Piece of heart, of course. Still so many pieces of hearts we can find. Look, look at how many heart containers we're missing. We still need to find the light arrows. <laughs> we might find all of the other hearts before we find the light arrows. You never know. Oh gosh, okay. I'm going back to the Wind Temple. I don't really want to go fight the Helmrock King right now. I miss my boy Makar already. I have separation issues. Oh, wait, now we're here with Medley. Um, nah. She kind of a hoe, so we're gonna go somewhere else. All right. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. You wanna go up there first? We're able to. Oh, no, the wizard was back. I don't wanna deal with his bullshit right now. I'm just gonna come. I'm gonna end the episode by opening the chest where. Since we're. Yeah, this is normally where the iron boots normally are. Wait, no, not the iron boots. There's normally like something in here. I forget. Key hats are despicable. All right, so let's go ahead and do the stupidest thing ever and crush ourselves. Smooth. And final chest of the episode. Let's see what it is, baby. <laughs> Got a lot of pieces of heart this episode. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and I appreciate cream cheese because it makes bagels infinitely better. Anyways, see you next time. <laughs>